Welcome back, superheroes in training. It's now time for super mind time, a time to stretch those excellent brains you have. Now, in the story, we had two people. Can you remember what they were called? Yeah, Anna and Simeon. And they were faithfully waiting for Jesus, weren't they? And Simeon, how long had he waited? Yeah, a really long time, a really long time to see God's promise to him be fulfilled. Come, see the promise actually be there. And Anna, she had waited a long, long, long time too. But God was faithful to them and they got to see Jesus, God's saviour, even as a tiny, tiny little baby. And you know, at this Christmas time, we can remember to be faithful to God. And do you know, I find it helps to remember some Bible stories and to remember all the things that God has done for us. So you may have heard of something called a Jesse tree. Now I've tried to make one. Can you see? It's really, really sparkly. But instead of putting uh, baubles and things on a Christmas tree, people do a little picture to remind them each day of some of the things and the promises of God. Can you see? I've got Joseph in his Technicolor dream coat. Oh yeah, that was a promise that God was faithful to him, wasn't he? Uh, Noah and the ark and the rainbow, that's God's promise too. We've got Adam and Eve there. We've got Joshua when the walls came tumbling down and God's promise and God's plan happened. We've got Abraham, that's a tent there. And the stars and God have promised him that he would have as many members of his family as there were stars in the sky. Oh, you could think about King David, the shepherd king, couldn't you? You could tell the story through some of your toys. And King David was mostly uh, faithful to God and he trusted God and he heard and he saw God's promises. And we even have, don't we, with Jesus, we have the Christmas promise. We have Jesus coming as our king, as our saviour. So we can think about how God is faithful to us and how he keeps keeping his promises again and again and again. But also we can choose to be faithful to God. And do you know what? We don't get it right all the time, do we? No, often we make mistakes and we mess up. But God is so good. We can come to him and we can say sorry. And when we mean sorry, he forgives us and says it's okay. You're my child and I love you and I care about you and let's carry on together. So as we approach Christmas, as we get excited for the decorations and all the different things, let's remember to trust God, to listen to him and to be superheroes who are faithful to God. Now we're going to go to Epic Ems and she's going to have a prayer activity for us. And then we're going to have another worship song to get us moving and praising God and saying, yes, God, this is how good you are. This is how amazing you are. And then we'll come back together to finish. See you in a bit. Hello, everyone. It's Epic M here today. And I want you to get all of the colouring pencils and crayons you have at home because today we are going to be colouring. Now, the pages will be in this video so it's easy for you to get the resources. So, what will we be colouring and why should we do this? Well, we are going to be colouring the Apostles' Creed and once you're colouring you can reflect on these words to see what they truly mean. Now let's get started! So this is what I've ended up colouring in. And maybe as a final task, 
you can read this creed again and think what stands out to you and what makes you think about faithfulness. However, we'll see what happens in January. We might have a new theme. We might be doing some other fun things as well. But I pray that you have a great Christmas. So happy Christmas! And if you just can't wait for more, you can join us for Christmas Eve on our crib service online. That's at four o'clock. You'll see the link here. And then on Christmas Day, there's a family service too, so you can watch along and feel Christmassy too. So let's finish with a prayer. Father God, thank you that we can be superheroes for Jesus. Thank you that you care about us so much. You love us so much and you sent your son Jesus 
so that we could get to know you more. Thank you for Christmas and for what it means to us and to our friends and our families. And we pray that we would be people who are faithful to you. May we be filled with your faithfulness. Amen.